Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hillbilly Voodoo channel. This here's Project ER, our extreme off-road wheelchair. If you're new to us, we're mashing together a whole bunch of parts, snowmobile parts, lawn tractor parts, motorcycle parts, and we're building uh, an extreme off-road vehicle of some type. It's going to look like a wheelchair, so that's what we're calling it, ER. Last time, we built our drive cogs for the tracks and I left you at me putting the tracks back on this thing as you can see we got the tracks back on it and I'll have to say that even if this thing doesn't work it looks pretty damn badass with the tracks on it so I guess if all else fails we can uh, call it art and say that it's some type of representation of the existential human condition or whatever the hell the hippies say nowadays and we could sell it to somebody in Hollywood and make a whole bunch of money. Well, we're gonna test, make sure that these tracks go around. I'm not gonna be able to fire up the engine because we don't have any wiring all done yet, but I think we'll get the drill. And we'll stick it onto that fan right there that is also a pulley on the bottom that's driven by the motor. And we'll get this thing to whirl around and see if these tracks are gonna whirl around with it and, well, whether it's actually gonna work or not. I'll get you on a tripod here and go try to find my drill and see what happens. Well, I found my drill and got you on a tripod, so. We'll see if this thing is actually going to go roundy roundy or if it's going to go snappy snappy. Um, I think this is forward. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Oh, that kind of looks like it might work. Well, let's stop one track and see if it's going to steer. do something might actually be what we want it to be we haven't had it got any shims or anything in the front end here yet so and everything is the tracks are super super loose but kind of looks like it's going to do what we want it to do got you on a little bit different of an angle here and we're gonna wheel this thing around again not because I need to, but because this is damn exciting and uh, things are actually working for a change. So here we go. And that. Tracks go around. Tracks go backwards. Now what's the next step? Well, I think maybe we'll uh, figure out how to put a belt and belt tensioner on this thing. So that we can use an engine to spin it around and yeah, I mean, then, then what, I don't know. Once we get the engine to spin it around, well then we can figure out the master cylinder things and maybe take it for a ride. Been a little too overexcited about taking this thing for a ride, but you know, I want to take it for a ride, so deal with it. Anyways, found a belt. It's... Probably not the right belt, but at least it'll give us an idea of where it's going to go. It's supposed to go around this pulley here, down underneath, and then goes down to the pulley underneath there on the motor. And we got the old belt tensioners off the riding lawnmower here. So somewhere in this general area here, we're going to have to build belt tensioner. I don't know how we're going to do it yet. I don't know if I need to make it so that it releases the belt and is kind of like a safety clutch thing or the fact that this transaxle has a neutral. Whether you can just start it in neutral and that might be just a better idea. Just have a, a spring tensioner that holds the belt tight. But I think maybe that will be our first 
attempt at this is take one of those pulleys, probably this one, because it rides on the uh, on the flat side of the belt, so it'll push against the belt like that. I think we'll take this one and try to figure out some way to mount it down in here. Yeah, somewhere down in here to push on that belt. Let me do a little bit of thinking here and maybe I'll come up with something and I'll bring you back and show you kind of what it is. I think I got a plan figured out here. I'm gonna build a bracket that bolts to here, that comes down, goes across, comes back up, bolts to here. I'm gonna have a lever on there that pivots back and forth like that with the pulley on it. The lever will go through that bracket to right underneath the motor. And then I'll put a chunk of ready rod through that one of those holes there that will hook onto that thing and pull it like that so that the pulley goes that way. Yeah, that'll be the first, first try at this thing. And whether it's gonna work, who knows, but we're gonna try it. So here goes. Got this bracket plate built here. And it's gonna go up underneath here. So is everybody kind of on board with what we're doing? I'm gonna drill holes through the bracket here. And that's gonna be adjustable. Like the arm will come off of here. The pulley will be out here and the arm will go straight through. And yeah, that's what the whole idea is here. So we're gonna drill some holes and Drill some holes in here and bolt it in there and then maybe everybody will kind of figure out what I'm trying to do here. Got our bracket in there and our pulley in there and our belt on there and... Oh, gonna have to pause this here and save my welder from the goats eating it, so I'll be back in a minute. Oh, false alarm. They're just eating the stump. So, yeah, we'll be back here now. So, belt in there. Goes around. It's not the right belt, but I've shortened it up and wired it together with some bailing wire. That pulley goes like that. Tensions up the belt. It kind of looks like it's all going to work here. So, you yep, can grab it underneath where I'm going to hook the ready rod to it. And pull on it. it. Tightens it up like that. And that'll do its thing. I guess if I want to make it so that it's kind of like a safety thing, I can just put a cable on there that pulls that and it, the belt will slip and it'll be like a neutral, but I don't think we're going to need that. So yeah, this will be the point where I do the good YouTube thing and remind you that if you're liking my content, then you should probably subscribe and give me a thumbs up and make some comments. Let me know whether you think this contraption is going to work or not. And yeah, all that kind of good YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching my channel if you're already subscribed. And thanks for watching my channel if you're not already subscribed. So this is what our belt adjuster looks like out of there. This is the part that's bolted up to right there. And that's the arm and stuff. That pulley hits the belt. That piece of ready rod comes through the frame. When you tighten the ready rod up, it pulls like that. Pushes on the belt, tightens everything up. So that's gonna work, I think. We won't be able to tell them for real until the motor's actually running and going and we'll see if the belt slips. And when I said it wasn't the proper belt, I just took an old belt and cut it and shortened it up. Now, if you're ever stuck out in the middle of, uh, boy, you got a pretty mouth and squeal like a pig, that's an easy fix for a broken fan belt. Poke a hole on the either side of it, of the brake, stick a chunk of bailing wire through it. If you don't pack bailing wire in your vehicle like I do, then look around for a, a piece of fence somewhere that you can steal a piece of wire from and wire your belt back together it should get you back to town and away from the uh the banjo music on that note i think we're going to leave this video here for today and remember use what you got to make what you want <laughs>